Welcome back to Stone Valley. We had 20 episodes, my man. <laughs> Here it is. I ain't gonna wait, make you wait no more. We went with the twin screw the by rotor. Oh yeah, we made, made a modified version. We got the big O18. <laughs> it doesn't fit. Let's let's be honest. I can't open the uh, the pipe on here and actually unload anything. But it's cool. Oh, and it just kind of keeps going sometimes, just like so. You know what? I think it'd be fun just to let him go see what he needs to do. Oh, I should probably do something with this. I will give you this much. That is a magnificent machine right there. We definitely gonna need to invest in a smaller header because that don't work, but it does look cool. Here we go. Just what we needed. Uh, I don't think that's supposed to happen. Oh, it quit. All right, perfect. So now we can hire this bad boy back on a worker again. Here's the thing. If you remember in the last episode, we had a bit of an issue with this well, idiot. Um, yep. Uh, well, can you see up there? Let me show you. This dude thought it would be a great idea not to finish his work. Now watch this. I'm gonna try and get through here. I didn't do nothing. He started the harvest and then he just stops. He gets some of it, but not quite. So basically in order to do this, you have to spam like, hey, stop doing what you're doing and then start spamming, start doing what you're doing again. I don't wanna do that. We'll say this, I'm interested to see how this is going to do it. Is he gonna stop? There's plenty of overlap, but the answer is no. He ain't gonna do it. Which means he definitely ain't gonna do it. I think maybe what I'll do is just give up. You think that's a good idea? Sitting here babying these just does not seem to be doing quite the trick. It gets down to the end fine, but did a sheep just run out and about? Hang on. Y'all in here behaving, right? Y'all ain't doing nothing weird? Speaking of weird, how much how much wool you got? 11,000? Not bad. So this ought to be interesting how he does this. Oh, because it's the same field, you're cool with it, but but if it was somewhere else, you wouldn't do it. I see how you do. I see how you do. All right, we're going to try it again here real quick. I'm going to basically double tap fire worker, hire worker. As soon as they get past, right about there, fire worker, hire worker. Ha, 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 ha. It worked. Yes. Keep going, buddy. Trying to get this 747 to take off might be a little bit more difficult than the other one. Fire worker, hire worker. I did miss a little bit. Oops. With this one though, that man, it wasn't no way around. The trees. That's all you got. All right. I'm going to do my best to try and finish this field up because, well, as you can see, I'm having just a time. So I'm going to just hire some workers, let them do their thing, and I'm going to try and babysit them a little bit. And just like that, we are done with this field. Nice. I will tell you, I do love this header. It is it is very funny. Uh, they do make a smaller one. There's a 15 meter as well. So I think what I'm going to do is maybe try and get a hold of that because then I can actually cart. Because look, look at this. This is the largest pipe out here. And it don't even come close. Matter of fact, I'm worried that the 15 meter won't even be enough. The good thing is at least this holds a lot. So I don't really have to cart, you know would just be nice. Instead, I have to come to where I'm gonna go and then back up to it, just like so. All right, so uh, there's that. Uh, I do have some guys down here, which I've just hired him. I know he's gonna do an idiot job, but at least he'll get this section and then this guy will get this section. So it, it's, it's a thing. Plus, I'm gonna do the entire field number nine, I believe it is. Yeah, number nine. I'm just gonna run that whole field myself. I'm not even gonna hire a worker. <laughs> Watch me do it. Nah, well, we do need to figure out what's going on with 10 though. Okay, we got a bit of an interesting bit here. Um, All the things are going to sell everything. I guess it could be worse. It makes it easy and bad all at the same time because, well, it's all going right over here. One sell point, but the problem is, well, one sell point for every single thing. Sometimes that can get a little bit problematic when you're doing, oh, I don't know, cell missions. I'd be interested to know if this knows exactly what grain comes from where. So I'm gonna go in here and see if we can figure that out. It says 80%, it says 46%, still selling 80%. And of course the top contract is showing that I've actually done something. 
That's dangerous. Yeah, it's like it's just picking whichever field it wants me to do it at. However, uh, those came from field number 10, and field number 10 got no credit whatsoever for that. So note to self, I have to literally finish all of the contracts before I do anything. Easier said than done, but at least it's easy to do. I'm just thinking about this. I'm not sure if I have the patience to even do this entire field myself. Do I want to? Absolutely. Do I want to? Absolutely not. Somebody found a piece of candy. Got it. Yeah. You won't believe this, but I found another piece of candy back here. Look at this. I don't know if anybody's curious, it comes from, uh, I can't remember who Family Guy was trying to catch, but they were trying to catch somebody. That's where that comes from. God, I love this thing. So you won't believe what this idiot did. I went so fast that it started bouncing and missed all of this grain back here. <laughs> so what I'm gonna have to do, you see I got the cruise control on like eight right now. I'm gonna have to go through here at like a snail's pace just to be able to pick all this up. Uh, it's definitely a first world farmer problem in farm sim, but man, I'd love to not have to come back and do this. Then again, maybe 32 miles an hour is a little bit fast to be harvesting grain. That could be it. Nah, it couldn't be. There's a chance that I forgot I had other combine harvesters going because it's been a hot minute since I was over here. Um, <laughs> I don't, I'm not sure how to handle all this right now, but I, I did rehire a worker over there and now I gotta figure out what the heck I'm gonna do with all these guys over here. So we're getting close, actually. Everything that you see here is basically all that's left, but we're gonna have to do a couple things to kind of babysit these idiots a little bit. I've got stuff I gotta do, but because I'm a single player, I ain't got nobody to help me out with that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna run a little line down through here and I'm gonna hit this. And the amount of time that's gonna take me to hit this section to the left of the road right here is going to far outweigh the time that it takes to get the other two combines back from the other field and start picking up all this straw. I think you probably should figure out by now, I ain't bailing this up. I'm gonna pick it up loose and then we're gonna sell it as is and hopefully we can make some decent money out of it. Can't forget about this though. Uh, well, there's, it's 94%. So I gotta, I gotta do this. And now I get to figure out what in the world these guys have missed. It looks like we've got a quite, quite a good little patch over there. And then our other combine officer's way up there at the top, just hanging out, doing his thing. Ooh, is that what I think it is? Yes, it is. Hello. Uh oh. It says contract on field number nine finished. Uh, but he's, I don't know, he's still doing his job. I think we'll be okay. We're coming together, dude. All right, so, uh, well, I was gonna do a double dump, but that ain't gonna work because, well, the other one's done. <laughs> but we can still do two combat officers here at the same time. And we'll go ahead and just dump that right into there. So this is one set right here. We've got this guy right here, which is on his very last pass, but we've still got to go through and pick all this up and we're gonna need to take out a loan. That's what I want, it's like $156,000. It's expensive. I'm going through trying to figure out where in the world am I gonna put this header? This thing is way too big. I guess right here? Yeah, that'll work. And straw popping out, just like, just like old times. I think my farmyard's getting a little crowded, my dude. <laughs> Go bring this right here, I guess. Oh, don't hit. Yeah, whatever. It doesn't matter. All right. So there we go. We've got our trailer here with 117,000 liters in it. We got our semi truck here with 186,000 liters in it. And the only loading wagon in the game that even remotely has a chance for 150, whatever it was, thousand dollars that I paid for it. Oh, yes. The winter row is back. And man, the farm is getting a little bit busy over here. So if you are not familiar with this magnificent piece of equipment, basically it picks up stuff. And it does a pretty good job of it, I think. I'm not sure if I can pick both of these up at the same time, but this is working right now. So that's really all that matters. <laughs> uh, this will hold 100 million liters, uh, which is very, very, very handy, considering that I about need that much to pick up all of this straw. We've already picked, uh, well, there's 60,000 liters right there, uh, and there's a lot more headed our way. So I am going to go through, I'm going to try and pick up as much
much of this as I can. I'm probably going to stop picking up two runs. Ooh, we're squirrely. I think we need a uh, front weight. Let's see. Just go ahead and make a guess. I'm going to pick up all of the straw. All of the soybean straw. I'm going to pick it all up. Tell me how much you think I'm going to get. Well, if you guessed $4 million, you get a cookie. <laughs> and I'm going to make a lot of money. Where is where is this, this soybean straw at? Let's see. Sell everything. Oh, man. So one thing that I thought about, and I was like, oh, we may want to be careful about this, is we've got one field that's already done, right? Well, we started uh, refilling up, et cetera, et cetera. I didn't make any money, but I'm really worried that whenever I pull this stuff in, don't hit. Ah, it's pretty heavy right now. There we go. Uh, whenever we dump this, I'm worried it's going to just start making money. So let's go in. Let's double check and make sure that we're on the right thing. Oop. Field nine's already completed. All right, we will collect that. It's one less thing we have to worry about. Dumping it in, and we will be selling everything that we get here as well. Going through. Don't get too high on here. Okay, there we go. 12% transported. Contract on field 16 finished. Okay, so we didn't actually have to do anything. That worked perfect. Hey, it makes it nice, doesn't it? it? Does make it nice. All right, we'll bring this in. Double check, make sure. What are we on? Front. This thing's almost full as well. She is heavy, boys. Let's come out through. There you go, right there. We'll let it through. I don't think that this is going to fill up. 84, you can kind of go back and forth and just monitor it, but you need that to hit 100. And it just swapped over, so we'll, we will swap as well. We are getting the least amount of money for soybeans on the entire map right here, but you know what? It's super easy just to do it here and not have to drive around the entire map. Uh, sometime we should start making money. There we go. All right. Contract on Phil Tech. Oh, that, that money's going up. That, that, that was up. So we netted, after everything was said and done, $167,000 just from the grain that we got alone. Just from the grain, boys. And we got one more. Ooh, four million liters of soybean straw. Now, of course, it's only like $100 per thousand liters, but it's still pretty good. It will dump very, very quickly, so don't blink here because it's just going to all disappear. There we go. Oh, well, it didn't dump as fast as I thought it would. 600, 700, 800, 9. Oh, we made $566,000 on soybean straw. Bro! Honestly, the worst part right here, though, is I have to pay some of this back. Uh, we did take out, I think it was about a $150,000 loan. So, once we pay it all back, we have $680,000. And that's a good thing, because I need to buy some mowers. <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to leave them on Kubota branded or not. I think it would be funny to do that, but we are using case stuff. So, I think for now, maybe we will debrand it and maybe go for, like, some black mowers. What do you guys think? All black mowers, maybe dark, yo, gray mowers for the win. I actually like the Kubota logo on there as well. I might go gray mowers with, Kub you know what? I'm doing it. Oh, I don't know what that sound was or where they are, but that's not a good thing. We'll go for the uh, Vario here. I think I went with n new logos. Oh man, I don't, I don't know what, uh oh, um, where? Where is it? Found it. It's in the middle of field nine. My bad. Oh yeah, by the way, field number... Where is it? There's another 50 grand right there. <laughs> all right. And from there, all that's left to do is hook up this beautiful, dirty case and be ready. Yeah, so this should be more than enough horsepower to run these mowers. I don't see why this would be a problem. Uh, I think the optimum would be optimal if it were. And of course, we've got all this extra Kubota stuff hanging around, too. I tell you what, after 20 episodes, not too bad.